In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create image maps. I have an example here on the screen right now in a browser. And basically an image map is where you can put what's called a hotspot within the area of an image. So if you look at this area up at the top here, this is a single image sitting on a page. Yet I have three links within that single image. And I've created one as a square on this first element, one as a circle on this second element, and one as a custom shape on this third one with the watermelon. So if I click on here, it will link to a designated page that I called tub.html. And these images are simply a full image link back to the index page. So I've got one here. And if I hold the mouse down, you can kind of see an outline of where that link is established within the circle. And it takes me to this page. And I can click back here to go back to the home page, the index. And the third one, again, if I move my mouse around, you see it will respond when I'm over the watermelon. That was a custom shape, so I'll click the watermelon. And of course, it takes me to that page with that image as well. All right, so I'm going to show you how to create this in Dreamweaver today. So I'm just going to tab over to Dreamweaver. And I do have the finished site here. Basically, if you look over in my files panel, I have established a root folder. And within that root folder is an images folder with all the images. And then you can see each one of the HTML files over here that were created. And they all are currently open here as well. If I tab around, there they are. Okay. So I'm going to create a new one though, and we'll start from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to start a brand new site. I do have a folder already set up as my root folder, so I'm going to set that up now by going up to the site pull-down menu, choosing new site. And I'll just call this image maps. I guess I'll call it two since I have one called image maps already. And most importantly, I'll click on the browse icon and establish where that root folder is. Oh, there it is. It was a little slow to show up. Root underscore wallet underscore 11 new. Choose and save. So the contents of that folder will show up in my files panel over here. So I'm just starting with the basics. I am going to close these files from the previous demonstration, which we're going to recreate right now. But if I look over here, I have the four images that I'll need for this exercise. So I'll start just by creating the four HTML pages and saving them. And then we'll populate them with the content and we'll finish off by creating the image maps in the index page. So let's start with that index page. I'm going to create new. And I'll just go with the basic HTML and I'll give them all a page title here. I'll just call this one home. Click create. And then I have to save the file immediately. I have to go up and go File, Save As. It's very important that you do that right away. Otherwise, your pathways may be incorrect if you start putting links in and so on before the first save. So I will call this one index.html. And just to be sure, I'm going to click my Site Root button to make sure it's at the top level in my root folder. And save. So it should show up over here, and there it is. So I'm going to create four files and I'll circle around again and we'll populate them. Go File, New. Uh, this one I'll call tub.html. I'm just going according to the image names. Create. Save as. And again I'll name it tub.html. Making sure it's in the site root. And save. Alright, I have two more to do. New. HTML. This one I'll call watermelon. And we'll name the file watermelon.html. Save as. And again, I'll just click site root just to be sure. And save. And then finally, one called welcome. Okay, so HTML, and this one, as I said, I'll call welcome. Just make sure that's spelled correctly. There we go. Create, and I'll save that file as well. Save as welcome, 
and I'll circle back to the index page. So I'll go over to that tab right now. And uh, I can actually do drag and drop. All I'm putting on each of these pages is an image. And I'll create links with the images on the page. And on the index page, we'll actually create links within the image. So we'll start with this page on the index. I'm going to drag the map image out to there. And I'm just going to save that for now. And I'll go over to the tub. I'll drag the tug, tub image into the picture, into the design view. And here I'm actually going to link it right now while it's highlighted. I'm going to link it back to the index file. So the link is down here in the properties. And I can click the little folder here. And I just need to click there and open or double click on it. And then I'll save it and move on to the next one. So clicking on the watermelon tab. I'll drag the image of the watermelon into the design view. There it is, and it's currently selected, so I can come down into the properties and apply a link to it. And this one, I want to link back to index as well, so I'm just going to double click it here. And then save my file. And then on to the welcomes page. Same thing for that. Drag the image called welcome directly onto the design view and establish a link through my properties panel. Again, linking back to the index and I'll just save that as well. So these three files are actually finished now. They're going to link back to the index. So let's actually go to the index and apply the new feature today which are known as image maps. To access the image map uh, tools you do need to have your properties panel open and I've got it locked down at the bottom of my screen here. All right. The other thing you need to do is you do need to have the image selected to start the process. Now if you look down here in the bottom right corner there are these four fairly small little icons. The first one is the move tool. You can see it says map right there. The first one is the rectangle hotspot tool. Second one is the circle hotspot tool and this last one is the polygon hotspot tool. These three are for creating shapes within the image that's currently selected. So I'll start with the simple one, the rectangle. I'll just draw a rectangle around the shape of that, what looks like an icon of somebody in a tub. And there it is. And I can link that now, so I'm going to go down into the properties, click on the folder, the browse for file, and link to the file called tub.html. Okay, and it's that simple. Now if I want to edit that, I can simply go down to the arrow and I can move it. And I can also resize it by grabbing on the handles. So you can edit with the little arrow tool. So I'll create a circle now and we'll link to the welcome file in the middle. So I'll select the circle hotspot tool. And I'll just start in the upper left corner and just drag to create a circle, roughly the shape of that circle imprint there. I will go down to the link tool and click browse for file. And that one I want to link to the welcome page. So I'll double click on welcome. And you can see the link here is populated in the properties panel. I'm just going to move it around a little just to adjust it. So I'll go back to the arrow and just finesse that. There we go. And I have one more to do. So I can actually zoom in and out in Dreamweaver. So I'm just going to go command plus to zoom in. Because I want to get a fairly accurate shape for that watermelon, which will take me to the third hotspot tool, the polygon hotspot tool. And you just click, and it's like connecting the dots. So I'm just going to try to capture all of this red part of the watermelon. There, like that. And again, I will link that by clicking Browse for File in my properties and double clicking on the watermelon.html file. There we go. I better make sure to save that. And I'll just reduce the view to its 100% uh, view. There we go. And if I click away, you can see a aqua colored representation of it here in the author view. Once the page is displayed, you won't see that. But these aqua areas are actually like three separate buttons within the one graphic. So let's just test that out over here in my browse for file, preview in browser rather and I'll go to Safari and there it is there 
And again, if I move my mouse around, you can see the image is not clickable in all areas. But once I get over these hot spots, you can see the little icon of the hand. So I'm going to click the first one, which does take me to the tub. Now you remember each of these pages, the full image is a link back to the index file. So we'll just test all three. Again, I'll, I'll approach here, and as I get towards the circle, it becomes activated. And I can click that and go to that particular file. And I can click on the image. Again, it was created as a link back to the index. And the third one is the red area of the watermelon, as you can see here. Is clickable and nowhere else around it. Okay, so I'll click the watermelon. And there it is. We're on the page called watermelon.html. And I can click that and I'm back home. So let me just go back to Dreamweaver quickly and explain once again very briefly in summary when I select an image I can access the hotspot areas in the properties panel in the bottom left corner under the area called map and that is our exercise on creating image maps with hotspots within an image.